Hey travel lovers, today we are in Cagliari, which is the capital of Sardinia. So we're on an Italian island and we're gonna go explore. We're gonna be here for a week, so let's see what we can find, get our bearings a little bit and uh, explore a little bit. Let's go. And it seems like the perfect spot to grab a bite. Alright, so I got an apple pastry. Ah! I'm gonna blow with an napkin. It's very shiny. Simple, not good. Just a pastry, the apple on top, and some sugar. Delicious. As we're trying to find our way around, Cagliari. Um, we stumbled across this place that our host told us about it. It's a, I'm gonna say this wrong, but Bastioni de Saint Remy. Um, but it kind of looks like it's all under construction. <laughs> the front was completely closed off as well. The only thing that were open were the bathrooms, and that does not help get up there. But apparently, there's a great view from above, and we'll show you the front of it obviously as well. Um, I'm kind of bummed because he was like, this, do this one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely do this thing, um, but we'll find more cool things to do as we're walking through the city. We are here at the Basilica San Santorno and it was built in the around the 5th century. I mean that's just phenomenal when you know the United States was founded in the 18th century. That's just mind blown. Anyway, it went underwent bomb in World War II, but it had started renovations before World War II. So there's been a lot of like back and forth with this basilica, but we're gonna go in it when we come back on Thursday because it's closed today. It's only open a couple days during the week um, and today's not one of them. So we'll be back. Cagliari is very hilly. Everything is uphill. Well, it goes downhill sometimes. It just never seems to be the way that we're going. Yeah. But we're almost at our next stop. And then we can take another break. So, fingers crossed it's downhill from here. It won't be. Yeah, true. Found it! So, we just took a walk into the church of Santa Maria di Bonaria. It's a... Uh, this church behind me, it is, um, it's really interesting. You go in and there's a dark side chapel that's pretty uh, pretty dark and you, we did a lap around there. Um, but then you go through these two big double doors and you enter into the main uh, area and it's like all white stone. It's really different from a lot of other like Catholic churches of this size. Um, 
there's lots of uh, lots of painting so not a lot of uh, gold leaf and stuff like that like you usually see but it's really bright and airy and uh, really interesting you should definitely check it out and if you come out the front door of this place and you turn around you have a great view of the the bay streets of this place is just beautiful. I mean, we're on a quiet street. There's nobody else really around. It's absolutely stunning. Found a cool spot on the streets of Cagliari. Um, we have our Buff House Wine Bar and Bistro. Um, and we got some local wine. So, cheers. I got a lunch special and it is basically beef stew with potatoes and then tomatoes with I think he said pecorino and some basil on this like crispy bread so we're gonna give it a try try not to take too big of a bite mm. That's basically homemade beef stew that your grandma makes. It's phenomenal. And the potatoes are cooked perfectly. The beef just falls apart in your mouth. Mm. Mm. Try the tomato. Look at the color this I know, it's beautiful. Oh my god. Mm. It is just bursting with flavor. Like you just don't get tomatoes like this everywhere in the world. That's why I learned to actually like tomatoes in Italy. And this is why. This is delicious. I we will come back here for sure. Okay, so this is Sayad. It's a traditional Sardinian dessert. It's like a fried semolina dough that's filled with uh, sour pecorino cheese and they cover it with honey and sugar. It looks ridiculous. After a super traditional Sardinian dessert, which was fabulous, our server suggested that we have this spirit and it's called Mirto and it's made from berries found on the islands everywhere. Um, they're myrtle berries, that's the best way we could find as far as English goes, um, and it's served cold, at least this one is, and we're gonna give it a try. Mm. I don't know what I thought I would taste, but it's it's good. It's, it's really good. It's um, definitely a spirit. You can feel the alcohol. Uh, it's a bit herbal, and it has berries, well, obviously it's made from berries, and it just has this like punch to it. Well, it's sweet, but not really sweet, um, and it has a really deep, rich flavor to it. It's just, it's really nice after food, after a meal kind of a drink. We just had the most phenomenal lunch. Yeah, we were at this uh, wine bar called Buff House. Uh, we had um, like a set lunch thing, yeah. and uh, two glasses of wine, and some spirits, and a dessert, and it was awesome. Probably the best meal we've had in a very, very long time, and we cannot wait to go back. And it's it's like a pretty special spot. I can't believe we found it. it uh, inside, it's like one or two tables, and outside, it's like three tables. It's really tiny, but the food was so good. And the service was excellent. Yeah. So highly recommend going there. Okay, so we're starting from down there, and there were stairs before that. And then, we are going up there. It's pretty dang steep. I'm a bit out of breath. I don't think you can be out of shape here. And there's a lot of bikes. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how they do that. But more power to you. I'll bike in Amsterdam any day over these hills. We found 
found an epic view here. I believe we're on the original like castle area. We came through a town um, entryway, like an old uh, gate, an old town gate. Um, but check this view out, it's insane. It has only been one day, not even a full day since we've been here, and I'm already kind of in awe. It's like old meets new, like everything that's old is incorporated into new. There's new streets, um, there's old squares that people are playing in and old monuments that people still cherish. It's kind of fantastic. One thing that we've been told is a must-do here in Cagliari is um, the Archaeological Museum. So that's where we are, and surprisingly it's actually free because it's Museum Day, but normally it is 7 euro for an adult. But it's already super cool. Check it out. to know about the archaeological history of Sardinia but there were so many different elements to it and like so many cool things to see how people from that age did things that we still do today and how they have the basis for modern technology so definitely one spot to go to when you're here. We're gonna end the vlog here today but we have found this awesome spot to watch the sunset right outside the archaeological museum. Yeah, it was a great day. We found a great lunch spot and uh, we're going to wait here for about half an hour until the sun sets and then head back to the hotel. Yep, but next video we're going to take you on a little adventure inside the island and it's going to be super awesome. So definitely watch out for that one. Until next time guys, bye!